what are the ways that we've been conditioned from childhood to be normal? Now, if you recall, the whole thing of being a child is, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you say things like, I want to be an astronaut, or I want to be a pop star, or I want to be a vet, which is a lot more normal. I don't know why I'm using that one as an example. But this is all good and well, and they say to us as children, oh, you can be whatever you want to be when you grow up. But when it comes down to it, you really can't. For example, from anyone who's got tried to go into the creative arts at all, so I don't know, actually being an artist or a musician or even an actor, something like that, there is usually a fair bit of opposition, particularly from parents, because it's not a steady income. You have to put a lot of work into it. Obviously, once you reach that point, it's a very steady income and you will do pretty well out of it if you persist. But, but usually some point in that time, the starving artist thing will take over and you'll end up having to go into a normal job. So let's go through some other things that we are taught as children that encourage us to conform to the norm. Number one, suppressing our emotions. Now, when you're a kid, I think this is, we're doing a lot better with our raising children now, but we're not encouraged to let our emotions show. If we're angry about something, if we're extremely happy about something, we're not actually supposed to show that. We're supposed to stay relatively stoic, or stoic, however you want to pronounce that, um, and not show our emotions. It's considered impolite or not normal or weird to show how you're feeling. And one of the main reasons from this is that we're discouraged from standing out from the crowd, which goes back to the you can be whatever you want to be. Yeah, you can be whatever you want to be, so long as you don't stand out from the crowd and be too different. But the problem with suppressing our emotions is that it causes a lot of mental health issues because we are going against what our body is naturally doing. So by encouraging kids to do that, you are actually just going to cause them mental health problems in the future. Number two, we're told that there is a right way and a wrong way of doing things. In some cases, obviously, this is correct, but in a lot of cases, it's not correct. There are a lot of ways of doing something where the world would say there is only one way of doing this. Okay, for example, let's go in for a controversial thing. There is one particular way to get, with, get together with somebody and have children. You're supposed to find a mate of the opposite sex. You're supposed to have children, and this is the way it's supposed to be done. However, we know full well that's not the way it's supposed to be done, and a good way of looking at this is being homosexual. Uh, I mean, we know full well that homosexuality is a natural thing, but we're taught from childhood that we're supposed to meet a man if we're a woman, meet a woman if we're a man, get married to them and have children. Also, there's the thing of the wrong way and the right way to be is that you're the right way is that you're supposed to have children. Well, lots of people don't want to have children. And this is something that is a pressure on women, I think, more a lot more than men. But, you know, I'm, I'm probably seeing that from a female's perspective, being a female. So, so comment below if you're a guy that's felt he has been unnaturally pushed to have children when he doesn't want them. But this is just the point. You know, we're taught that there's a right way and a wrong way of doing things when it's just not the case. Number three, much like the first point I made, we are told to follow our dreams as children. Yeah, if our dreams are to get a steady job and go to work doing a nine to five every day, anything outside of those dreams is, we're, we're discouraged. So that's another thing where we're encouraged as kids to do one thing, but then normal conformity tells us otherwise. And it's very contradictory to children especially when you get into your teenage years where your hormones are all over the place anyway and you're trying to find your place in society when all of a sudden the narrative changes no longer you can you be what you wanted to be follow your dreams you've actually got to start thinking seriously about you what you really want to do with your life and unfortunately we're discouraged from doing what we really want to do number four we're expected to conform to societal norms and expectations as is one of my favorite things of saying nearly eight billion people in the world Seriously, I looked earlier and we're at like 7.9998 at the moment. So give it a couple of days and we're going to be 8 billion. And damn right, I'm going to be going online and going, hey, look, we're now at 8 billion. Just because I'm a bit obsessed with that. In a world of nearly 8 billion people, to expect the majority of those people to just conform to the ideals of a few. And it is just a few. We just follow it on and we don't question where they've come from. But it is the few. It's insane. We've got way more going on, so why should we be doing that? That's ridiculous, and it's so encouraged from childhood to not step outside the lines, nor not colour outside the lines, and to just follow what is normal, but no. 
And number five, we're taught to be competitive and compare ourselves to others. Um, obviously, that's terrible. Because if you're constantly comparing yourself to others, you're not going to be happy because different people are good at different things. Different people succeed in different areas. But it doesn't necessarily mean that person in general is better than you. It just means in that particular area of their lives, they're better at a particular skill than you are. But, you know, everybody's got something amazing and unique to offer the world. And to constantly be encouraged to be competitive and compare ourselves to others isn't going to do you any favours in the long run. So that was five ways that we have been conditioned from childhood to conform to the norm. What are your thoughts on this? How do you feel about conforming to the norm? Do you find it easier to just do it or do you find it extremely difficult to fit in? Comment below. I'm really interested to find out.